probably should start off with saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Baby, I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space, but I need it, baby. I'm late, but I still can check in with you. I know that I need. What's up, dog gang? Welcome back to my channel. This doll here, and I am back today with another video. So see me, hear me, and see me, and see me well. No, I'm just playing. But today, I just wanted to come on here with a little mukbang, just to you know post some more content, cause your girl been ghost. But only because life has been hitting a bitch real, 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 real. real 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 hard but you know that's life and we just gotta keep living through it and continuing on so um i probably should start off with saying merry christmas happy new year all that good stuff because that's just how long i've been going but i'm gonna start making it up to you guys i'm gonna start really trying to push more content out on here and being more serious with my YouTube channel because one, we just hit 200 subbies. Ah, 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 ah. We just hit 200 subbies. We passed 200 subbies. Actually, I think I have like 206 now. Really happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start posting more for you guys because you guys are subscribing. My views are going up and I'm really excited about that. So, I decided to come on here and do a little mukbang for you guys today and just tell y'all why I've been MIA. No, not that I owe y'all an explanation or nothing. I'm just playing, but yeah, I do owe it to my subbies because I know that y'all be wanting to see content posted because, of course, that's why you subscribe. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to um, come on here and let you guys know what's been going on, what's new in my life, what's happening. So, I made a Popeye's run. I went to go get me some Popeye's, something to eat because I was hungry. Excuse me. And I made a dollar store run just to get some stuff that I needed. If you guys are wondering where I'm at, um, I know I'm in a new setting or whatever. I'm in my day room that I just decorated. Um, I'll do a a tour sooner or later on my channel. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting up in here and I decided this would be a good place to film because it's nice, quiet, and calm. I can shut the doors and use this a nice intimate setting for me to connect with you guys. So yeah, I'm here today. Like I was saying, um, I went to the dollar store and got some stuff that I needed and I also went and got me some food and I came back home because today is my off day. Thank God. I've been working all week. So I'm off today and tomorrow and I go back in Sunday. But I found the cutest little thing at the dollar store, guys. Isn't this mug so cute? It says, I don't know if you guys can see it all the way, but it says the bags under my eyes are designer. And it got some cute little lashes on there and it got my favorite. Well, not my favorite color, but like my second favorite color, baby pink on the inside. So, I had to get it. It was only a dollar. So, so cute. Not like I really be drinking out of mugs or nothing, but just for this. I might have to whip me up a little coffee, some tea or something. You know, girl. But yeah, that was a dollar. So, I thought that was really cute. It is my second favorite color because my first favorite color is yellow. I love anything yellow. Sunflowers are my favorite flower. So, yeah. Anything yellow. I love so I'm gonna stop you know getting off topic and let's get to the real let's get to this food honey let's get into it so Popeye's just dropped a new Cajun fish sandwich so I decided to try that because I love fish and I'm actually trying to sooner or later become a pescatarian and then I eventually want to become vegan but I'm gonna you know try to wean myself off the meat and stuff because your girl do love her meat her chicken her beef her you know all that all that good stuff but i mean it really doesn't make me feel the best after i eat it so i figure i should change my lifestyle a little bit mm, you know these fries good i 
love Popeyes, y'all. I love Popeyes. Okay, so yeah. I decided that I was gonna try out their new Cajun fish sandwich. And my greedy ass went and got two. Just for me. I got one a combo and then I got just one extra one, but they actually gave me two fries, so <laughs> I mean, how could I be mad about that? And I got some lemonade to drink. Oh, it's wasting. Oh my gosh. Okay. We gonna pop this baby open so y'all can see what we working with right here. And it was fresh. They made it fresh. I had to wait on it a little bit for about five minutes, so that's how I know it's about to be good. So this is how it's looking, y'all. Look at that bun. Look at the bun, baby. Yes. And on the inside, you got, well, it's on the bottom. You got tartar sauce. And look at that steam. Y'all see that steam? I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's piping hot and it's about to be good. So it got tartar sauce and pickles, both of which I love on it. And that's it. So let's try it. Y'all, oh my God. And it's a little spice, it got a little spice to it. Okay. Okay, Papa, okay. I'm about to put their whole body in this. So good, baby. When I tell y'all, y'all need to try this. Try this. Okay, let me my fry that because I'm clean. It's good, y'all. It got a little spice to it, a little kick, but not too much spice, just enough. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. So this is what I be getting instead of the chicken sandwich. Cause honestly, to me, the chicken sandwich is too big. Like, I don't know if y'all feel the same or if somebody feel me on it, like, y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's, like, just too big, and I don't feel like that's normal for chicken, for a chicken sandwich to be that damn big, and what I don't like about it is that it has a lot of excess, like, skin that's not needed. I don't know. I just, I'm not too fond of it. Um, let's see how this lemonade tastes. great but we on you know whatever I got water as well I really don't need that lemonade to be that sweet anyways because I'm not supposed to be drinking this mess anyways because my skin is just not starting to clear back up so I ain't supposed to be eating none of this fried stuff for real for real because I've been doing good I ain't been eating no fried foods that's why my skin and I've been drinking a lot a lot a lot of water that's why my skin is starting to look so much better and now I'm back fucking it up again. But, no, it's okay, y'all. It's okay. It is okay. By the way, y'all, when I eat, I do tend to smack a lot. But, honestly, I can't help it. Like, so, y'all know how some of them people like to watch people eat that smack. I might start having some of them videos on here because, baby, y'all love me. Y'all would love me. I'm telling y'all because, baby, I smack. My whole family, we going to smack. If it's slapping, we smacking, baby. You heard? Oh. So, really, for real, that's why I've been in my head, guys. Life really hit me like I was saying. And the reason I say that is because it's you New know, Year. I was planning on being a lot more consistent on YouTube. I was, I had a bunch of big goals, right? Bunch of, bunch of big goals. But, I mean, like, I was gonna do Vlogmas. I was gonna do a 22nd birthday vlog and all that. But, you know, somebody very near and dear to my heart, somebody who I was in a whole, you know, 
somebody who I was in a relationship with, they passed away um, Christmas morning, like early, early, early in the morning. Um, I ended up finding out my friends actually drove all the way over to my house and came and told me, came to tell me in person because honestly, like, so Christmas Eve, um, we all went to one of my friends' house and we did a gift exchange and we stayed up all night. You know, we was partying, we was enjoying ourselves, you know, just enjoying each other's company, you know, taking shots. So we literally stayed up almost all night and then we fell asleep at her house. And so I really hadn't been on social media that much because that's just how much I was enjoying myself. You know, like sometimes you like forget all that, forget about your phone. You just enjoying the people that you know are genuinely there for you and your loved ones you just enjoying their company and their time so after we was done with that that morning i came home you know to be with like my intermediate family my mom my brothers my dad and so i was just visiting everybody giving everybody their gifts dropping off the gifts um getting my gifts that they got me and spending a little time with them as well Apart from my friends, who are who are also my family too, don't get me wrong, but yeah, so I was spending time with them, and then so I'm over here with my dad, and we hear somebody knocking on the door, and I'm like, well, damn, daddy, who can that be? And so I went to the door, and it was all my friends, and they were just standing there, and I was like, what's wrong with y'all? Like they had tears in their eyes, like dang, they're about to break down. And I was just like, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? And I was like, is something wrong with my mama? Because, like, that was the first thing that I thought of. I was like, something wrong with my mama? And they was like, no. And then they told me that this person had passed away. And, y'all, I just, like, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I mean, I couldn't take the news that I just heard. Like, this day, this Christmas Eve, Christmas, like, this whole day was going so perfect. Everything was so right. I was having the best time of my life, like enjoying moments with, you know, just the people who I love. And it's like, dang, like to receive some news like that on my favorite holiday at that, y'all. If you know me, you know I love, 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 love Christmas. Like it's my favorite holiday. Me and my family, we always go all out for Christmas, like decorations and everything. So to hear some news like that, like I just broke down like and after that like I didn't want to do nothing I didn't want to do nothing because I just couldn't believe it like you spend all your time with someone and all of a sudden they just poof like gone they not there no more and that's hard to accept you know and so um I just I couldn't accept it so I fell into like a deep depression like I wouldn't get out the bed for nothing I stopped going to work um, because that's just how much it, it hit me. Like, it hit me. It really hit me. Like, I didn't want to do nothing for my birthday anymore. Y'all know my birthday is on January the 12th. So, that was like a few weeks after, like two weeks after maybe. I didn't want to do nothing for my birthday. I was supposed to get out a 22nd birthday vlog. I didn't want to do nothing, y'all. So, I didn't do nothing for New Year's. Um... I did nothing like because the news blew me so bad and you know it's just hard to accept like that messes up your whole algorithm you, when this person just poof like out of your life all of a sudden they gone and they not there no more and y'all so I really feel into a deep depression and it's like at some point girl like you gotta get up you know what i'm saying like you can't let this consume you and that's what i had to keep telling myself over and over because y'all when i say i was depressed like not getting out the bed for nothing staying in the bed like 25 8 all day every day like i didn't even want to eat i had no appetite nothing mm. It was just sad, like, yeah, I had my family, I had my friends, they was checking on me, but I had to get go through it and get better on my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that you can't rush, like, grieving, 
Grieving takes time, and you have to let that person get better on their own. Yeah, you you should be there, checking on them, encouraging them, praying for them, sending them words of encouragement, anything you can. But you can't make nobody get over something. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I appreciate my friends and family so much because they showed me that they was there. They gave me their support, but they let me do it on my own time. And it was a point in time where I was just laying there and I was like, girl, you can't keep doing this every day. Like, you got to get up. That's not what the person who passed away would be. That's not how they would want you to be. You know what I'm saying? So, they would want you to be sad, you know, uh, just not wanting to do nothing for yourself, you know, not enjoying your life. So, I had to get up. Um... I mean, I started pushing myself to go out with my friends more. Like, right after that, one of my friends, she had an eyebrow class to go to in Atlanta. So, she was like, oh, I want y'all to come with me. So, I went with them. We had a great time, by the way. And this was, like, maybe two days before my birthday. And so, they was like, what you going to do? And I was like, I'm, I don't want to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing. And then one of my friends was like, girl, you only turned 22 one time. So... You need to make the best of this. Like, I know you're hurting. I know you're down. But that's not what the person who passed away would want you to be doing. Like, he would want you to be enjoying your 22nd birthday and, you know, enjoying life. So, that's what I did. I mean, it was real rush. I had already ordered my dress. So, I had my dress. I insert a picture somewhere. Um, to show y'all what I look like cause your girl did look bum period I had my dress I had my shoes you know I really wasn't into getting nothing else done like my lashes my hair so I did a cute little bun or whatever lashes was half fucking off like I had two on this eye three on this eye but it's okay y'all I did my makeup and I felt you know I felt good that I was getting out and enjoying myself so for my 22nd birthday we ended up going to we ended up going to roof chris and then when we went to atlanta they kind of you know that was kind of my birthday celebration as well my friends made me feel very loved and you know very just good about myself um so so yeah y'all and this is not meant to be a sad vlog at all well, not a vlog, but a sad video at all. Um, this is meant to be an uplifting video because I feel like I pulled myself up with the help of my friends and family. But I went through this. I grew through this. I'm still going through this. I'm still grieving through this. Some days I have horrible days where I just can't stop thinking about this person. Some days I have really good days, like... It's a, it's an uphill battle. It's like it's like a roller coaster. It's up and down, and grief is is really a lifelong process. Like you never gonna get over somebody close to you being gone, but day by day it'll get easier. So by any means, like I said, it's not meant to be a a sad video. It's meant to be uplifting because I know, of course, other people are grieving and going through loss because people die every day people die every day y'all and i just want y'all to know that it's not the end of the world it may feel like it in that moment but it's not the end of the world and the person will want you to live your life move on and you know just appreciate what you have like that's all i can say that got me through god praying um, my friends and family, the support of them, and just, you know, I win the good and the bad, y'all. Prayerfully, whatever you're going through, the good outweighs the bad. And that's how I always look at it. Like, I have so much to be grateful for, you know. People that are still here and living, I'm so grateful for them. My family, my brothers, my mom, my grandma still here with me. Um, so that's just how you got to look at it, guys. Life is life. And it's going to hit you 
but how you react to it, how you determine to deal with it is is ultimately what it comes down to. You can either let it make you or break you. And that's how I feel like. I feel like this made me. Like this made me stronger. So when I say just just look at it like that. Like look at the positive. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on the positive. Move forward. You know, do something that you always wanted to do. Like I'm traveling a lot. I'm supposed to be going to Houston for the first time. I'm gonna vlog that. I just went to All Star Weekend. Um in Atlanta last week and I did a vlog for that. That vlog will be coming out very soon. Uh, most likely after I post this and then I'm gonna post the Houston one. I'm supposed to be going to Jamaica soon. I'm so excited about that y'all. So yeah, when I say y'all, it's so much more to life and you love, you love, love, love. Of course you'll never forget about the people who was here who are not here anymore. But the only thing you could do is live for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just live for them. And that's how I look at it. So, I turn my negatives into positives. And I just keep keep going. Because that's all we can do. You know? So, I mean, I'm real proud of myself. Because, like, I mean, how I was to how I am now. I feel good about it. Like, I feel good about the woman I'm becoming. You know, I'm making some moves for myself that I'm just happy about. So, I'm real happy about it, y'all. And if I sound kind of stuffy, it's because I am. Because this weather is real bipolar down here in Alabama. Like, one day, it wanna in the daytime, it want to be 80 degrees. And in the nighttime, it want to be 40 and 50. And that's just not agreeing with me. So, that's why. You know, you know where I've been um, you know I just wanted to come on here and be transparent with you guys and connect with you guys because even though I have you know just a few subscribers it might be a few to somebody who got 200k subscribers but to me 200 subscribers is a lot and that was a big goal for me to accomplish so I'm real happy about that and prayerfully hopefully we can just grow and grow and grow this channel together drop some comments if you are going through if you're grieving right now if you're grieving somebody it's okay guys we will get through this together um just uplift yourself. That's all I can say. If you don't have family and friends that'll help you through it, uplift yourself. When I tell y'all I get up every morning, I put on my gospel music, I put on my feel good music, whatever your preference is, whatever makes you feel good, do it. Do it, guys, because we do not have that much time left on this earth. When I say we could be here today and be gone tomorrow and we wouldn't even know, enjoy your life and do what makes you happy and laugh as much as you can spend time with the people who make you happy who you know are real and there for you don't waste your time on this petty mess that people be trying to come at you with no we not doing that 2021 2021 we living it up we get to the bag and that's just period okay everything positive we doing it we save the money, period, talking to me. I'm talking to me. Because, <laughs> baby, when I say I would spend some money, I would spend, I spend some money. But, by the grace of God, we're saving. We're saving. Um, Yeah, y'all, so, that's all I wanted to come on here and tell you guys. This fish sandwich... It's a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. So, y'all go get these. And I'm going to stuff again. Oh, my God. Do what makes you happy. By any means. At all times. Cut off who you have to. Protect your peace. Protect your peace. I'm real big on peace. I don't play that. I'm 
real big on self-care. Take your stuff out. If you have to, baby, get you some alone time. You don't need nobody to be with you. You don't need nobody. You need yourself, okay? That's all you need. Take yourself out. Take yourself on a date. Go get your nails in. Meditate. Manifest. Pray. Get in that Bible or whatever your preference is. I don't judge. But, yeah. Do whatever makes you happy. Take care of y'all still. And just keep living. That's all I can say. And on that note, dolls. I think we're coming up on the end of this video. That's all I wanted to come on here and tell you guys. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit that post notification so you don't miss when I post because I am going to be posting. Um, depending on how, <laughs> depending on how consistent I am with my posting, I'm going to be purchasing a camera soon. Because I just feel like that'll be so much easier because I record so much to where I don't have any more storage left on my phone. And we can't have that. So, yeah. Give me a big thumbs up on this video, guys. Show me some love in the comment section. If you have anything that you would like to talk about, any advice that you need, um, just drop those comments. And I will be very, very happy to talk to you guys. Um yeah and that's the end of this video dolls i hope you enjoy it i hope you find it uplifting i hope you find it you know i hope it does what it, it needs to do for you i hope it's giving what i needed to give and peace and blessings to you all i will see you guys in my next video bye